Welcome back to another unboxing video. I want to give a quick shout out to Triple Sleeve TCG for sponsoring today's video. Triple Sleeve TCG is a website that sells nation bundles so that you can pick up full play sets of new cards or upcoming booster sets of whatever decks you need to update. You just pick out a set bundle you want, select the nation, and boom, you get a play set of every card, base rarity for the nation you have chosen within that booster. There is a limited supply per nation, so you gotta get them fast. Thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG for sponsoring this video, and let's get into the unboxing. What's good, YouTube? It's Gabe and Richard uh, again with another box opening. Our friends over at Triple Sleeve TCG sent us two boxes of a brush with legends, which came out a couple weeks ago. Uh, as Gabe figures out how to open things with his keys and lack of nails. Uh, let us know with down in the comments what decks you're most excited about. Uh, let us know uh, in what way uh, Leonard has ruined your day. <laughs> and we will get started with this box opening. Gabe is having struggles doing the display thing with D apparently, because it was, this was the same with BTO1. I'm just stupid, it's fine. Oh, we get box toppers again, missed those. Aw, no sleeves? No sleeves, but what does this do? Drag Ritter Hardy, when placed on rear counter bus, when retire a back row. Ooh, oh, and it's a little... critical marker thing. So we actually get these, that's actually pretty fun. I think it has something on the back. One promo and one marker. Oh yeah, it's a hundred. You got a uh, over trigger marker and a critical marker, depending on, I'm assuming, the, the five start decks. Uh, I'll just pull all the packs out for you. Oh, that's fair. Uh, a bunch of cards you've probably seen because it's been a while. Oh, off the start is this the double R thing that people were obsessed about for Keter Sanctuary, but it's not that great because it requires a lot of setup. Was that the problem? You need a lot of board. Yeah. And, uh, and Persona yeah. Ride. Yeah. I think, honestly, we're just going to skip through the commons because they're commons, unless it's like something of like actual note. Uh, Blaster Javelin, because we got to get our nostalgia pandering. I think this was supposed to be good. And another double R already. Uh, ser Sterilize Angel. That's fun. It doesn't feel like it's double R worthy. Like, it's just 5K. Nope. Uh, Pestilent Talon. This isn't a common of note. That's just a cool name. Uh, dog. This thing. Uh, the, the New World, the horniest art in the set, uh, the fronts that gain 5k, Bushi, please give us more skills. This is a great start, but we need more triggers with skills. And a hollow of, is this the thing that went up? Oh yeah, this thing's not great. You have to, em actually it's fine. You get to empty your bind zone so you can recycle orders that you've had to bind. So you can actually kind of reduce the amount of orders you have to run, but as a hollow, not really worth it m much. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's a tech slot in Zorga. You don't need it, but it's funny. This thing is funny, I think. That's for Bruce to give him power. Uh, love this art. I love how menacing Bojel <laughs> Corn is. This card isn't good, but this is such a threatening card for Sylvanhorn Beast. Do you want to know what aesthetic I get or vibes? Other than obvious, like, Magic the Gathering. What? This feels like the artwork for every, like, OG Duel Masters card. Dude, you're so right. <laughs> like, like, you have to deck it out with some, like, Digimon weaponry. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I, you're, I agree. Some people run this. I think this is actually pretty good. The Brant Gate front that gains power. Oh, hey, I actually need this thing. I never went to Frank's to buy them, so I actually... It's worth, like, 20 cents or something, because it isn't good. When this attacks a van, soul charge. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then soul, kind of one, put this into your drop, soul one, van gets 10k. Okay, not... You run it over Gungan Room because it's another soul charge. This bit of, like, lightning or whatever's in the background is coming out of his mouth. Uh, oh, it's uh, Zorga without the revival. Oh wait, no, is that no? This is the oh, the eighteen k beater. That's, the, that's a uh, different card. That's the uh, the the main ride target for your premium no. uh, Aqua Force deck. No, it's, it's just an eighteen k <sighs> base. So you just sit on an eighteen k Vanguard and God, stride over it. There he is, Blaster Dark. Uh, this thing. And this is a hollow. I have I am I know nothing about Bruce. I'm not gonna pretend that I I know if that card's good. Diablos Madonna Viola. Uh, I let me know how, all the One Piece fans how you felt about Dressrosa. Blaze Maiden Zara. <laughs> 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 Aquaforce card. This is for PBD, right? Oh, it yeah. says Blaster in the text, so I'm assuming. A uh, common for Bash and probably upgrade. Nahalom, he's back. You know what throws me off? 
is the dragon and the knight look like they were drawn by different people? I don't think that's true. Really? But I, I could be wrong, now. but it feels weird to me. And the thing that makes Seraph Snow good, this yep. is the one, the debuffer, yeah. We never really got this much action of the dragon yeah. until now. Yeah. But I still think the, the, not the, not the manga OG art for Nohalem, but bell. the one that came out in the first set. That's still my favorite art of Nahalem, where he's just this little guy oh, yeah. sitting on this huge dragon. Agreed. Big agree. And he's hey, like... SP Maka, that's for Miles. Oh, uh, you mean me. Oh, you're right. The Ket <laughs> I forgot you took over Keter Sanctuary. Uh, this thing. Cool, Dude. now I'm an SP Maka and I'm SP Karen. Karen. Uh, this thing's fine. Dragonic Overlord, there's the boy. And I think that's the last triple R because that's three no. triple R's. Oh wait, we have one more we box. We have one more box. I we... need one, Vi I need one, uh, not Virena. Urger. Um, yeah, Virena. Yeah, Virena, Virena Urger, Urger, yeah. Uh, and this is the thing when it's discarded, it goes to Ooh. soul. That's pretty good. This is a $5 uh, Jeez, double R. This is like is. sought after Of course for the it deck. is. Uh, we're gonna get, we, hey, it's a foil of the Spike oh, Brothers nice. that's thing. That's money. <laughs> I actually, wait, I realize I probably need those for Barrow Magnus. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've seen all... Hey, it's Wild Intelligence. We've seen most of the double R's and all the triple R's, so we're just going to start going fast with this one. Uh, this is a hollow of a Seraph Snow thing, and I... Uh, not I don't gonna... think people are... People are probably teching this thing. It's like... It's just Soul Charge fodder. Fair. Hey, it's Gojo. Uh, and it's Undo. Bup, 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 bup. Front trigger for that. Oh, this card's garbage. Uh, I kind of want to burn that thing. What does this do when this attacks? Bad. Vanguard is Barrel Magnes. Discard a card from your hand. 5k and at the end of it. So it's counter charge, but you have to discard? Yeah. Oh. And hey, get, you, hey, get, remember, uh, Selfish Engraver is a card that exists. Oh, right. So what's the point? Exactly. Oh. Hey. Four triple R? I already have this thing and it's not worth anything, but because we got one, we got four triple R's. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Do we get a misprinted box or is this normal? Fair. Fair. Uh, foil Berserk Dragon. That's fun. And, uh,. The rare is the front for Ketter Sanctuary, and the last pack of box number one. Oh, the, the second horny start in the game. Wait, where? This oh, this thing. Yeah, if, if it's Zargut's horny. Yeah, this thing's really good. Yeah, the one that lets you draw cards after it boosts God, the, the tokens. God, because it has the, the encounter card text box or whatever, this doesn't even look SP. This will get us to 10 minutes of ad revenue. <laughs> is it the same card? Uh, it is, <laughs> but it's, uh, Orphus for the crit marker. Uh, pack number one, uh, we've probably seen all the comments, so we can go through this quickly. The first is, uh, Blazeman Tanya, <laughs> only, only true that. OGs will remember. Double R that makes Hexa Orb good, or better, I guess. Yeah, better is the right word. The fact that they let you pick between, like, drawing the two or keeping the two on top, like yeah. making it like a decision. Like Ugh. you could pick one of four possible decisions. God, this art is so upsetting. <laughs> Wait, I think this card's good though. It's probably good, but it's also really upsetting. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, PBD to match the Overlord from the first one. Uh, gonna scan till the end. We got a foil of that uh, order that we just pulled for prison. Foil of the New World. What does this one do? Call a Shadow Army token. That's pretty good. In the comments, go ahead and talk about how you feel about the encounter cards and do you guys feel like they came back too soon? Like Bushy didn't wait long enough after V series to really make us care. So, I agree. Hey, hey, Richard. What? Let's go! <laughs> we got the cover card, Virena Erger, which also makes Virena noticeably better as a deck. There uh, we go. Deck's uh, done. Oh, we got the triple R for Alvadared for Orphos. I think. Oh, well, we got three triple R's. Apparently, there's four or something, so we might get a fourth. We haven't gotten the SP, so there's still time to have fun here. Uh, we got the Brantgate thing and the Eugene double R. <laughs> the thing that actually makes Eugene slightly less tolerable. Or less it, terrible, I yeah. mean to say. This card's really funny. The, like, Miles used this against me. It's oh, very did. funny. Yeah. That's funny. In all the lists Undo. that we were going over, he we never saw this order. So the fact that he threw this in was just his own personal decision. I mean, there might have been a new one that you didn't see. Maybe. Aw, oh, big, big mouth. Big boy. It's a double R. I don't know what it does. I know nothing about Brant Gate decks. I know it's token and prison, and that those are words. Dude, oh, hey, I actually needed this. And Dominar. This card's like a dollar, I think. <laughs> Didn't need this, though. I like the artwork, though. Yeah, he's in like pain. Screaming. Uh, we got Time Gyrate in the Hollum. Ooh. 
I love Drill Warrior. True. This is actually not that bad. Hey, Foiled Karen. What, what is it? This, this thing. Like, it's, oh, yeah. It's just a basic, like, just put a card from your hand in the soul. This looks like... Uh, only true OGs would remember. This looks like the boss monster for the buddy fight trap deck at the end of Triple D. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, hey, this card's funny. That's Do. a good card, that order. Yeah. Oh, I guess they, we really did just save the SP for last. I hope. This thing. And SP, SP bar. SP bar. Wow. <laughs> God. This was a good pull. But so, so let's see what we got for our... Uh, our triple R's that I have obviously been keeping track of. Sure. Um, eh, there they are. All right, well, here are two SPs and their respective encounter cards. Well, that's cool. And the rest of our triple R's. So wait, <laughs> but, uh, so we got, did we get like one triple R from each nation? I mean, for the most part? Yeah. We got two actually, because we got. Oh no, we only got one triple R from Darkest because we didn't get Leonard. Okay, and then technically these are. One so yeah, two Brant, two Dragon, two Stoic, and one Cutter. Yeah, but we got a Cutter SP, which I think makes up for it. Yeah, so this was the uh, the Dragon Empire pull, right? Yeah. But if you really want to count bar, is even a good pull. <laughs> it's SP, so I think we should. That's true, and it's a guaranteed ride. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, again for watching, and we'll see you all in the next unboxing video. Fast turn!